Within the abdominal cavity, there are two spaces that are divided by the peritoneum, with each space containing its own structures. We call these spaces and the organs within them the intraperitoneal and retroperitoneal space and structures. The division between these spaces is a test and exam favorite. The question you might come across may describe a traumatic penetrating injury, like a stab or a gunshot wound, and then ask you which of the following structures is located within the retroperitoneal space. Luckily, I have a mnemonic to share with you that will help you remember the organs located within this cavity. You could remember the organs within the retroperitoneal space by remembering the phrase sad pucker, where each letter represents one or more of the organs located within the retroperitoneal cavity. S stands for suprarenal glands, also known as the adrenal glands. You don't see them here in this diagram, but they are located just above both kidneys. A stands for aorta and inferior vena cava. D stands for the second and fourth parts of the duodenum. P stands for the pancreas, except for the tail portion of this organ. U stands for ureters, which are not labeled on this diagram, but are the organs that lead from the kidneys to the bladder. C stands for the descending and ascending portions of the colon. K stands for kidneys. E stands for the lower two-thirds of the esophagus. And R stands for rectum, at least parts of the rectum, and not labeled on this diagram. So the next time you come across a question asking about the structures within the retroperitoneal space, just remember the word sad pucker.